Hello guys, uh, this is a video by Dr. Dheeraj Masapu. I am a neuroanesthesiologist and today I would like to tell you a very very important uh, thing. During the festival time, what I observed in the last 2-3 years is that many doctors died around that time. Okay, then I was researching since then what must be the exact reason. So festivals like, you know, I don't want to mention the names of the festivals, but in uh, any religion there will be a lot of festivals. But one common thing about the festivals is that we eat a lot of food, special foods will be made which are like, you know, in high amounts of uh, sugar in that. Okay, then uh, how, then if you ask me then, uh, is there any evidence uh, for what you are talking? So there is a study published in British Medical Journal which is studied over 2,80,000 heart attacks, not patients. And what they found is that during the Christmas and New Year holidays, they found a significant spike in the heart attacks. Okay, uh, If I have to go to the numbers, it is 37% increase on the day of Christmas Eve. Okay, uh, Any study published in British Medical Journal means that it is a very, very, very uh, valid data and we have to believe that. So exact reasons that they pointed out are many but uh, I will take the most important thing that is relevant to this particular video. Okay, The real culprit which I feel is the insulin spike. Let me go into the details. So when you eat some sweets like you know uh, kaja or uh, you know potareku or some cake or uh, you know which is very sugary what it does to the body is it releases a massive amount of sugar into your body and then there will be to uh, get the sugar into the cell to metabolize what is required insulin is required to handle this your body releases a very very large amount of insulin spike so this is a very common mechanism in the body then if you ask me how does this relate to relate to heart attacks so what happens is uh, there is another study published in american college of cardiology okay in 2006 it is not a recent study long back it has been proved that even one spike one solid spike of insulin can damage your endothelium which is the inner layer of your blood vessels so what happens is this insulin uh, if we have to go into structure of the insulin molecular level it is not actually damaging but it damages indirectly through different mechanisms if i have to tell you that uh, you know uh, it causes something called there is something called reactive oxygen species okay and uh, it causes some oxidative stress in the endothelium which is the inner layer of the blood vessels so this is one of the reasons and uh, there is a gas called nitric oxide which will be released in the blood vessels which is very very important for the blood vessels actually those levels would come down when there is large amount of insulin spike in the body and there are several mechanisms like that all these mechanisms would lead to plaque rupture that means a plaque will close the blood vessel and blood wouldn't go that is called heart attack basically so this study found out that even one spike of insulin is enough this, this is called, uh, released uh, okay in uh, 2006 itself got it no so then uh, uh, there is another study published in 2015 uh, meta-analysis from american heart association even they have proven that insulin uh, can lead to reactive oxygen species which can damage the uh, endothelium and the blood vessels so this is about the basis behind uh, all these kind of uh, uh, heart attacks so let's come back to, uh, in short, if I have to explain, what, what should uh, uh, we do, uh, who is watching this video. So what I recommend is, see your uh, uncles and aunties and your parents would be forcing you to actually, you know, have a sweet and eat a lot of food, one day nothing will happen, these kind of things they would say. But these studies are pointing out that even one spike is enough to cause heart attack. So it is your call basically. Okay, so then I would say that even one spike is not allowed, so better to not eat uh, many sweets during the festival time because uh, that can lead to heart attack. That is second thing. Second thing is that even uh, large portions of foods if you eat, even that can release a lot of uh, sugar spikes in your body, even that can lead to heart attack. So smaller portion sizes in multiple times is better with respect to insulin spikes and second thing is avoiding sugary foods and sugary juices pepsi thumbs up and all these things also would lead to large amounts of insulin spikes so diet coke would be better so and uh, so w what i'm trying to say is uh, eat less portion and write about sugar in that and second thing is intermittent fasting also i would like to comment i did intermittent fasting for five years i lost significant amount of weight but what people uh, are doing is they're doing fasting and in the eating window they're eating a lot of food 
again that would lead to large spikes of insulin that is why heart attacks are increasing in intermittent fasting patients so you do intermittent fasting which is very good uh, to control your blood glucose levels because you've been significant you know, fasting time but after that what you have to do is you have to go for uh, uh, you know very careful eating in the window time that is a very important thing so this is about uh, the festivals and sugar spikes and heart attacks and all that so please take care of your health and then what you do is please hydrate yourself eat more portions less sugary food please make sure you're not uh, you know getting any heart attack or anything during this festival period which is very 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 common studies are showing 37 percent increase in heart attack so i don't want you to be one of the victims for heart attack enjoyment you can do in different ways food is not only the enjoyment in life okay uh, thank you very much for following the video till now and uh, this uh, video should at least help one person is what i feel thank you all